Andrew from Kite Army. So you can see the white stuff is coming down and we're having a little bit of fun. But tomorrow morning, when you get ready for work or go to school, you gotta get rid of this stuff. So I've got a tool to show you here that's gonna help you with that. So take a look over my shoulder and tell me what you're not seeing. Right there. That's right, that early snowstorm we had in November was Mother Nature's way of doing something like this. Wake up! So I'm prepared for when Mother Nature gives me a visit. I've got a brand new Craftsman snowblower that I'm gonna share with you today. Let's do this. So we're here today to talk about this guy. This is a Craftsman 21 inch snowblower. This guy is a single stage unit and it's powered by a very powerful 208 cc motor. So this guy's available at Lowe's. There's a link to that below. Make sure you click that to find out more information about this. Also, I'd like to thank Lowe's for providing this to Kite Army so I could share the information with you. Come on in a little closer here, I wanna show you. You can see this is a deluxe model, which is exactly how I like my hamburgers. Also, it's got electric start, which is a very nice convenience, and it's made in the USA. So, let's get to work. I did forget to mention that I picked up my snowblower in the box. Lowe's will be happy to assemble it for you at no cost, so your choice either way. I kind of just impatient and got it like that. That took all of 15 minutes to set up. All we have to do now is put some gas in it and we are ready to roll. What's nice is it's got a sight right down here to show you what your fuel level is. As simple as that sounds, it's actually a really nice convenience. Now that you've got your snowblower gassed up, let me show you the steps you need to go through to get it started. First off, you need to make sure your choke, this lever right here is all the way to the right side. As the snowblower warms up, you can move it over to the left side and that will take about a minute to get to that point. Next thing, there's a gas primer bulb right here. Push this five times to get some gas into the engine. You know, if it's been sitting for a while, that will help you get it started. Now, the other thing you need to do is make sure your key is actually inserted all the way. It won't run without that. And that is how, how you stop and start the snowblower. Now, the great thing about the snowblower is there's two ways to get it started. I'm gonna show you the harder way first, and that's with the pull cord. So make sure your choke is in the right spot. Make sure your key's in. We are ready to go. We are ready to go. Ah, we're ready to go. Let me show you the second way to get it started, and that's with the electrical cord right here. This is the easier way, and what's nice about this is you can save your energy for the hard work of actually moving the snow, not getting your snow blower started. So let me show you how to do that. First, you just get right below here, plug it in, make sure your choke's in the right spot, make sure your key's in, and then this little button right here will do some magic. There's one very important ingredient missing from this video, snow. Let's go find some. Well, I don't think that's gonna help me with my video, but it sure does taste good, cheers. Ice rink Zamboni could mean only one thing, snow. Here we are, the Polar Express. I got the good stuff right here, buckets of it. So let's see how this guy can help me get rid of it.
So no Kite Army video would be complete without me pushing the limits of the testing. And I'm gonna do that right here. I've got a wet pile of this really nasty icy snow measuring over nine inches tall. So what I wanna do today is see if this Craftsman snowblower that's rated up to about six inches can handle this pile. So when you go shopping for your snowblower, you're gonna see two different types. The single stage, like what I showed you here today, and the two stage models. If the single stage will work for the amount of snow you're getting, I definitely recommend them. And that's because that rubber auger will do a really nice job cleaning your surface. It'll go right down to it, lift up all that snow and ice, and there'll be very little shoveling afterwards. Now, you know this model's rated up to six inches, although we, my test showed you there's a little bit of wiggle room there. So if you're in that zone, I would definitely say consider a single stage model like this guy today. Now, the other thing nice about single stage models is they're easy to store there's less maintenance and they're more maneuverable. So the single stage models have a lot going for them. So it's time for the Kite Army wrap up. Overall, I really like this machine. One of the things it's got going for it is the strong, powerful 208 cc uh, powered motor. And I could feel that when I was actually trying to move the snow around that it did have a lot of oomph there. The other thing I like about it on the chute here, it's super adjustable. They've made it really simple. You can do this with gloves on, it won't be a problem. And the last thing is the fact that it has two ways to start it. You can use a pull start or the electric start. Now, my only complaint with this machine was I wish the handles had some sort of rubberized uh, you know, feature on it so it'd be really easy to hold and comfortable. Uh, but overall, really liked it. Well, hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please do me a favor and make sure you hit that like button below, subscribe to my channel. There's a bunch of other content you might find interesting. Make sure you check that out. And I'll see you guys around real soon.